The Satanic Bible by Anton Zandalevi, Prologue The gods of the right-hand path have bickered and quarreled for an entire age of earth. Each of these deities and their respective priests and ministers have attempted to find wisdom in their own lies. The ice age of religious thought can last but a limited time in this great scheme of human existence. The gods of wisdom defiled have had their saga, and their millennium hath become as reality. Each with his own divine path to paradise, hath accused the other of heresies and spiritual indiscretions. The ring of the Nibelungen doth carry an everlasting curse, but only because those who seek it think in terms of good and evil themselves being at all times good. The gods of the past have become as their own devils in order to live feebly. Their ministers play the devil's game to fill their tabernacles and pay the mortgages on their temples. Alas! too long have they studied righteousness, and poor and incompetent devils they make. So they all join hands in brotherly unity, and in their desperation go to Valhalla for their last great, ecumenical council, draweth near in the gloom the twilight of the gods. The ravens of night have flown forth to summon Loki, who hath set Valhalla aflame with the searing trident of the inferno. The twilight is done. A glow of new light is born out of the night and Lucifer is risen, once more to proclaim, this is the age of Satan, Satan rules the earth, the gods of the unjust are dead, this is the morning of magic, and undefiled wisdom, the flesh prevaileth and a great church shall be builded, consecrated in its name, no longer shall man's salvation be dependent on his self-denial, and it will be known that the world of the flesh and the living shall be the greatest preparation for any and all eternal delights. Rishi Satanas, Ave Satanas, Hail Satan, the Nine Satanic Statements, 1. Satan represents indulgence, instead of abstinence, 2. Satan represents vital existence, instead of spiritual pipe dreams. 3. Satan represents undefiled wisdom, instead of hypocritical self-deceit. 4. Satan represents kindness to those who deserve it, instead of love wasted on ingrates. 5. Satan represents vengeance, instead of turning the other cheek. 6. Satan represents responsibility to the responsible, instead of concern for psychic vampires. 7. Satan represents man as just another animal, sometimes better, more often worse than those that walk on all fours, who, because of his divine spiritual and intellectual development, has become the most vicious animal of all. 8. Satan represents all of the so-called sins, as they all lead to physical, mental, or emotional gratification. 9. Satan has been the best friend the church has ever had as he has kept it in business all these years.